Another cup of coffee? <laughs> no, we on tea. Mm. We on tea. So, sorry, can we just, can I just ask you? Yeah. How the heck does a world famous tennis star, an Olympian from China, go missing and nobody's talking about it? Have you heard about it? No. Yeah. You've heard about it, BA? I've heard about it. Well, of course you heard about it because you, you weren't here. But have you, watching right now, have you heard about it? I no. think before we even get into where it happened, communist country, all of that, uh, we're looking at a woman making sexual assault allegations against a high-powered official, mm -hmm. right? So let's get into the details. Let's name her. Yeah, so Peng Shua, 35-year-old tennis star. Yeah. So very well known, lots of titles to her name. So she goes on a site called Weibo. So mm -hmm. it's a Chinese uh, social media platform for lack of a better term. Right. And she makes an allegation mm -hmm. that a former vice premier had sexually assaulted her. This is a high ranking high official ranking. in China. Mm -hmm. Got mm -hmm. it. So he was the former vice premier. So uh, the post was, it went up on November 2nd and yeah. then it was literally taken down like minutes later. Like right, gone. like it was, yeah. Scrubbed from the internet. So it was gone off Weibo, her, she was gone off Weibo like. It's almost happened. like it didn't even exist. Exactly. So I think that was the kind of the concept was that we're going to make sure like make it look like this never happened. Right. So she made some pretty heavy allegations. She said that he in 2018 had invited her to play tennis, taken her back to his house with his wife. And then she was coerced into having sex with him. And she said she didn't consent. She cried the whole time. And uh, after dinner, she was reluctant. And he uh, allegedly told her that he hated her. Oh, my God. So then mm -hmm. after that, after it was scrubbed off the Internet, she disappeared. She was never seen in public again. And nobody has been able to locate her. No. Like it's this is like this. People were talking about this earlier when it originally happened around November second. But then it like it just like was like nobody start, was talking about it. I haven't seen barely any follow ups. I don't see many people questioning where is she, where is she? Mm -hmm. And is it because people are believing what the Chinese government is saying? So no, so the Chinese government has come out and said that she's just resting at home. So um, on November 17th, an official news media organization that is under the control of China's Communist Party, uh, their publicity department, tweeted out a picture of her uh, with a message but a lot of people don't believe it. The message was in English, mm -hmm. um, just saying that she was okay, she's just resting, and saying that um, her allegations were not true. So like redacting her statement that this man had assaulted her. Jeez. Okay, we, we know that there have been some organizations that have taken action, like yeah. the World Tennis Association, right? Yeah, so they've, or the Women's Tennis Sorry, Association. Sorry, excuse me. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So they came out and they said that they'll be pulling out of China if there's no proof that she's okay. They then posted a video, the government posted mm -hmm. a video, and um, the, the lead of the tennis organization has now said the video proves that she's alive. Mm -hmm. Doesn't approve that she's well. It doesn't approve that she's free. It doesn't doesn't prove that she's okay. Right. She's just alive. This is all that this video proves. So in the video, a coach is there asking her, you know, oh no, it's November 21st, right? And I, apparently she never answers. Hmm. So he asks her three times. They mentioned that it's November 21st three times. So there's video evidence that she's alive. No evidence that she's okay. I'm trying to choose my words carefully here because what I'm mm -hmm. trying to say is that it's decent to see that at least an organization, some form of organization, mm -hmm. has taken some form of stance against what has happened. Because this could never, like if this was, were to happen here in North America, like a Serena Williams or mm -hmm. somebody went missing. Bianca Andrescu. Or Bianca yeah. Andrescu. For sure. The world would be like, what the heck? So the United Nations has spoken up. They're calling for, you know, like we need proof that she's okay. Um, the Biden administration down in the state, same thing. But yeah, we're not seeing any. We're not seeing the heavy hand. No. Why are we not seeing the heavy hand? And we're not seeing heavy coverage on it Why? either. Why? Why is that? I don't know. I think that um, when something happens on the other side of the world, it's easy to turn a blind eye. And it's even easier to turn a blind eye to a woman who's making sexual assault allegations. And maybe let's layer that, because I think there's even more layers there. Mm -hmm. w what's her ethnicity, right? She is Chinese. Right, and is there uh, you know, a social stigma that sometimes that people don't take, or the world or society doesn't take violence against women of color as seriously? For sure. And I mean, look at that, who's the woman that went missing um, in the states, and there was this whole thing. Gabby Pepito, right? right. But what, and no. everybody's looking. Everybody's looking, and rightfully so. We need to be looking. For but sure. We need to be looking for everybody else too. But that case blows my mind because while they were looking for Gabby Pepito and her fiance, they found eight other missing people's remains. Eight. 
And I didn't eight, hear about that. And nobody's talking about that. Eight different human remains were found, including people of color, mm -hmm. who nobody was looking for, and they were missing people. They were reported missing people, and they found eight people, and nobody talks about that. I just hope, what at least we're talking about it, and hope that will drum up more interest in people to try to, like, ask for answers. Ask for answers. Like, where is she? Where is she? What is she doing? And why are, why, why would she go out of her way to make a statement knowing that if it were false, these allegations, mm -hmm. she could get in a lot of trouble? A, such a small percentage of people who are victims of sexual assault, who survive sexual assault and sexual abuse, actually report things for fear of their own safety and for fear of people not believing them. And this is exactly why. Dev, great research, seriously. Well, yeah, no, we'll have to keep following this one for sure. 100%.